75 inch TV. My stepdad once said to me that my teeth were so big, so big, that you could run a marathon on them. But look at that nose, right? And widescreen? Whoa. Got them. Got them spotty spots. Can't see them as well with the camera. That new wide lens action. <laughs> Just here to tell you it's okay to not be concerned with your looks in case you're that kind of person. I don't know. Doesn't matter to me, I guess, too much. But used to bug me personally, I guess. It's bad for you. That's what it is. It's just bad for you. It's bad for you to worry about yourself insanely. Don't worry about how you look. Just one of those things you gotta get over, person. I'm just saying, whoever you are. I don't even know what was gonna come out of my mouth when I switched on the camera, but you can do it. Whatever it is. Whatever it is, motherfucker. If you're just getting out of bed, I don't know. Or. Whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is, you can do it. You can motherfucking do it. Saturday night and I ain't got nobody. I got some money because I just got paid. How I wish I had someone to talk to. I'm in a fantastic way. <laughs> yeah. I feel good. I feel like I do nothing but help people all day do something that makes them feel better and doesn't introduce much negativity to their life. There are things that are negative about weed in their lives. And I see it all the time. It's devastating. It's fucking devastating. It's literally, I mean, I think it might have even happened twice today. It happened twice today, actually. Um, and the second time, slightly more memorable. The other one was just a, a down stem, but the, the other one was a bit more memorable. It's devastating. Devastating. That's right, you heard me. Down stem. Um, yeah, that's what's up. But the next one. Ah, oh, man, it hurts to fucking say it. A pre cooler, an ash catcher. It's fucking. Sometimes there are some bad things about weed, man. And dropping that ash catcher, like, cannot have been good, especially when your partner drops that. So now it's, now there's, now there's this couple dynamic. Now not only is the ash catcher broken, but I need a new ash catcher and you need to come with me. So we're in this together. So it's really this thing that just kind of, joins us in this really harmonious way, this Ganjuanas, and I love it. It's coming up fucking November. I, honestly, I don't know what it was, but just there were like, and you know, I've said it before in video, like you just, there's that body deformity where you're worried about how you look or so crazy. 
so crazy it's so crazy like it's your is fully on the attitude like that's just where it lies like that's it it's literally your attitude you fucking how you look at the world like how you look at the world how you take it how you perceive it how you fucking take it up if if you allow shit to fuck piss you off then it's just gonna fucking escalate in your brain it's gonna piss you off if you look at yourself every day and you're fucking looking at fucking instagram and go wish i look like that man go fucking scroll your fucking little ass or big ass or fucking small ass, wide ass, whatever the fuck ass you got, doesn't fucking matter, it's your ass, own that ass, if you want to, that's what I've said, I said to, I say that to, it doesn't matter who I said it to, but they were like, they were like, yeah, because I'm fat, and I was like, what do you mean, like, you saying that in like a negative way, I mean, obviously you're fat, like, the you're like, you're, you're overweight that's obvious that's what you're you're saying and you're pointing it out but you seem really like upset about the fact that you're fat and i'm like why like wait a minute aren't aren't you didn't you put a lot of effort into this like you should be proud of this this is what you wanted like this is your that was your goal like you can do anything you want in life and like I mean, if you want to get thin, you're going to miss things. Like, I mean, what's your favorite food? Like, you love Snickers, yeah? And you eat that all, and you love that, and it's fucking constant, and there's loads of other things. And, oh, you you do like to work with computers, and that's what you do, and you, you love it, and you don't like to be anywhere else, so you like to sit the whole time and eat. You work for this, man. Like, if you want to be, if you think you want to be thinner, then just put that thing down. I mean, I guess there's things like thyroid problems. I mean, that's a different world. But just put that little thing down and be like, yo, I don't need to. Like, I was drinking quite heavily a while ago, um, about a year and a half ago, for about a six to eight month period. Um, and, I mean, I was smashing it every night. I mean, like... I was going like five, me, like five or six pints, and my belly was fucking. And it was like, I'm just like, that's something that you're obviously you, you were aiming for. You were wanting to have a drink every night. You were wanting to switch your brain off. You were wanting to get away from the world because the world is so intense and you got so much going on at work and you can't just escape this fucking shit because it's all there and it's fucking on top of you. And how do you, and it's only up to you and how you're supposed to get. So you're fucking drinking and you're adding that and you're, you're thinking you're escaping from this, but you're creating fucking problems. And um, they're, they're, they're not the, they're not what you, the way you see yourself, right? So you're kind of looking at yourself like, but I don't want to be able to do this. And it's like, well, if you want to be able to do this, Dunfer, then you're going to have to do this, right? Isn't that, doesn't that make sense? Doesn't A equal B? So I had to put in like a regime and be like, well, stop drinking. I mean, okay, the other day I had a drink, but some girlfriend gave me fucking whatever or whatever you know whatever happened i can't remember i think she just brought home something um so yeah anyway random i mean it's been like eight ten fucking whatever months i don't know so i don't keep up with it i don't care it doesn't you know it's not my thing i do like my thing and i like to switch off and whatever and fucking ramble shit on the fucking internet about blah 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 and someone weed and whatever the fuck but I've heard it before. What was it? Oh, best friend. One of best friends. One of uh, one of three was like fucking smoke weed and sit and sit on the internet and smoke weed. Why? Like, where are you going with your life? And I'm like, you have to think about it. Take it hurts for a little while, but then you think about it and you're like. Everything's a learning mission. You don't know where you're going all the time. You don't know, always know what you're doing. But you're allowed to do the things that you enjoy doing. I enjoy rambling shite on the internet and smoking weed. I think it should be legal to smoke the ganja in whatever form. Mine's obviously a CBD and all of that stuff, right? But, you know, whatever form whatever form it is. So, yeah.
I don't give a shit. Flying fuck. Hula hoopa. Dupa jupa. What? Peep stink or say or whatever. It's just too many opinions. It's like a floating. Like the opinions are floating in the sewer. The shit. And you believe in those opinions. It's like, don't, don't put so much power in people's opinion of you. Don't. What's the point? Power to you. 11 minutes 20. I'm going to end the video. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Don't worry about people. All right. Don't fuck worry about them. They don't even know what they're talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about 90% of the time. That's why I understand. I'm just like, man, if I don't know what I'm talking about and that cunt says that the world's fucked up and I think that the world's just a big learning thing, then holy shit. Buy a smoke trap. Eat a penguin if you want. If you want to be fat, be fat. If you want to be thin, be thin. If you want to fucking wear makeup and stuff, do that. But don't, don't. Focus on like what you can do and what you can actually do for society as opposed to what other people, in your opinion, aren't able to do um, and what they should be doing. Because it's generally a good idea to try and look after yourself and look after what's around you, make sure it's all before you go. Before you go jumping into someone else's shit and being like, oh, this is how you should run that thing, do that stuff. This is how you should be. I think you should be thin. Do you know what? I think you're fat. I think you should be thin. Why would you listen to someone like that? Right? So then why do you listen to their opinion of you when they say, your teeth are so big you could run a marathon on them? <laughs> Wasn't even funny. Whatever. <laughs> It's a little bit funny. See? You can do whatever the fuck you want. Just stay positive about all your shit. Like, if it's a fucking down, it's a down. Take the down. Be like, oh, I'm fucking down. But there's going to be an up. Storm of clouds only last so long. Storm of clouds only last so long. Watch out for the stormy clouds. But remember that they don't last long. They don't last long. Everybody sing along. I will have a bong. But after the video. Have a good day. Look after yourself. Don't take people's shit. This is fucking shit. And that's what it is. Focus on you. And you can stay out of a lot of trouble that way as well. It's mental. It's mental how far the world would go. Fucking hell. Forward. Hmm. How about that?